Welcome SD Nation, I'm Mike Glavin from Sierra Designs. Today we're going to take a look at the wind tunnel test for the Convert 2. And what you see here is the start of the test. If you haven't seen these before, uh, you can see the wind speed on the wall there in miles per hour and the smaller numbers in meter per, per second if you prefer metric. So they run these tests, they basically ramp up the speed to our 45 mile, mile an hour uh, test criteria, which is what we rate our four C's and tents at in all four directions is a 45 mile an hour. So it has to pass that benchmark to see, achieve four season status for Sierra Design. So this is the orientation when we would actually expect to see the strongest uh, due to that awning on that door. And you can see we're already up to 42 miles an hour and we're right at the it pops around a little bit sometimes when it reads the measurements, but we're getting right up to the 45 mile an hour pass, and there it is. And it easily passes that. Certainly the weak spot from this angle is that vertical pole in the vestibule, um, but it's under direct compression, so we would expect that to be extremely strong. Um, we generally ratchet them up till we think they're about to fail, and then turn them off so we don't destroy as many tents. Uh, you can see with the little pole in the back, now see we're up to 57, 55 miles an hour here. Uh, this is way stronger than the minimum. It looks like it's going to exceed 60 from the front, 62, and then it looks like maybe, oh, still not holding up at 60, and then they'll ratchet it back here, hopefully without breaking a pole. You can see in the rear, um, in the next test, I'm going to show you the pole did break on the rear, and I'm just going to cut to that shot here, and here you can see it. It's uh, achieving up over 50. They're really popping it in. And then I slow down for you what the failure looks like. We try and avoid the failure, but I think at about 57 or 58 miles an hour, the foot box came in there. You see at 57.6 miles an hour, and you see what happens in slow motion as the pole breaks. Luckily, that one didn't rip up the tent, but still well over 10 miles an hour over uh, the minimum standard. Now, here's the difficult angle, and most people don't test their tents from the side like this. Uh, you wouldn't set your tent up broadside to the wind, so we're looking for 45 miles an hour here, and we're just up over 41, and that center pole is clearly going to be the, leak, um, the weak spot here, because um, it's starting to straighten, and the only thing that's really holding that thing is the guy line. You also get a lot of downward pressure on the side, but I just saw 46.1, uh, and they got it up to 45, and I think they thought that was it, and that's the end. Uh, thank you for watching.